In this video, we'll take a look at a very important part of setting up the long division of polynomials. Here, we're going to divide 2x cubed plus 42 minus 4x by x plus 3. However, there's an important quality about long division of polynomials, is that when we set up our division... Need a little more space than that. When we set up our division with the x plus 3 out front, and fill in the inside of the division bar, what goes in there must be in a particular order. The particular order is the largest exponent must come first, and then we must count down. For example, if there was an x to the 5th, we would need x to the 5th, then x to the 4th, then x squared, then x to the 1st, and then the constant number. You'll notice the problem we're working with is completely out of order. Not only that, it's missing in x squared. If a term is missing, we're going to have to add 0 of that missing term. Always take a moment to look at any long division problem and see if any terms are missing. Because if you don't notice, it can really mess things up later, and you don't even realize it until you get the problem wrong. So let's see what we have now. 2x cubed, that's the highest exponent, Counting down, then, would be the plus 0x squared. That's the one we had to add in there. I'll keep it pink so we don't forget we added it in there. Minus the 4x, and then finally the plus 42. Now notice the exponents count down. 3, 2, 1, 0. As we set up our long division, every problem must be set up like this. Once it's set up, the long division works like any other problem. We'll divide the front terms. 2x cubed divided by x is going to be 2x squared. We'll put that in for our quotient. And then we'll simply distribute the 2x squared to get 2x cubed plus 6x squared. Whoops. It's only supposed to delete the top part. I'll use the eraser, that'll go better. Now we'll change the signs on each term so we can combine them with the 2x cubes, subtracting out, leaving negative 6x squared. Bringing down the next term, the negative 4x, allows us to repeat the process. Negative 6x squared, divide out an x, leaves us with negative 6 x, sorry, negative 6x. Again, we'll distribute the negative 6x through, and as we do, we get negative 6x squared and negative 18x. Again, we change the sign on both terms, making them both positive this time, so that the negative 6x squared subtracts out with the positive 6x squared. When we do, we're left with 14x plus 42. Finally, we can divide that 14x by x, and when we do, we're just left with the positive 14. Distributing that positive 14 through gives us 14x plus 42. Whoops, I'm having all kinds of problems with that, just erase that off. There we go. Now, changing the sign on both, we'll notice the 14x subtract out and the 42 subtract out, leaving 0. In this problem, there is no remainder. We simply have 2x squared minus 6x plus 14 for our final solution. The important part about this problem was making sure it got set up correctly. As we set up, we noticed there was no x squared in the numerator and every exponent must be represented. We also noticed things were very much out of order, and so we had to put them in order, counting down from the highest exponent, 3, 2, 1, 0, to be sure we arrived at the correct final solution.